Welcome back to NM Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss the price index numbers. The price index numbers measure the changes in the price of a commodity for a given period in comparison with another period. The important price index numbers are wholesale price index numbers and retail price index numbers. The methods for construction of price index numbers are simple aggregative method, weighted aggregative method, simple average relative method, weighted average of price relative method. Have to discuss each of these methods in detail. In this video, we are going to discuss only the unweighted methods in the construction of price index numbers. The first method is the simple aggregative method. It is the simplest method, and the prices for the base year and current year are only required here. The aggregate of the current year price is divided by the aggregate of the base year price and multiplied by 100. So the index number is equal to sigma P1 divided by sigma P0 into 100. The P1 is the current year price and P0 is the base year price. So sigma P1 means it is the sum of the prices in the current year and sigma P0 is the aggregate of the prices in the base year. The application of the formula. See, five commodities are given here as A, B, C, D and E and the prices in 2008 is given. Similarly, the prices in 2010 are also given. When two prices are given for two periods, we have to first find out which is the base year and which is the current year. In this case, we take 2008 as the base year and 2010 as the current year because 2008 is the back period. So the previous period one or the back period one will be considered as the base year and the present or the recent one will be the current year if anything else is not given in the question. Then we have to apply the formula. Index number is equal to sigma P1 divided by sigma P0 into 100. The sigma P1 means the sum of the prices in the current year. So P1 means the current year price. A sigma P1 means all the current year prices have to be summed up. This is sigma P1 and sigma P0. That means the prices in base year that has to be summed up. Sigma P0 is 53. Now, I, index number I is equal to 59 divided by 53 into 100. The answer is 111.3 which is the index number according to the simple aggregative method. And uh, the next unweighted method is simple average relative method. In this method, the price relative for each item is found out. The price relative is current year price divided by base year price into 100. Current year price is P1 divided by base year price that is P0 into 100. That is I. And in this I is put in the formula index number is equal to sigma I divided by N. Thus, the average of these relatives is found out using this formula. Let us see the application of this formula. The items are given A, B, C, D, E 
and the price in base year is given. Price in current year is given. According to simple average relative method, the formula to be used is index number is equal to sigma i by n. So we have to calculate this sigma i. I means p1 divided by p0 into 100 for each item. p1 is 7 divided by p0 is 5 into 100. 7 by 5 into 100 that is 140. Similarly 12 by 10 into 100 120. Like that we have to find for each one we have to find the i. Each p1 divided by each p0 into 100. Then we have to take the sum of these values. Sigma i is 629.2. 629.2 divided by n. There is a number of items here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 items are there. So divided by 5 and the index number is 125.84. In this video, we have discussed the unweighted methods used in the construction of the price index numbers. The weighted methods are discussed in another video. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe the channel.